So another thing I recommend on websites is a minimum of three online forms. So you're going to have one for your main free gift, whatever that download is or video or whatever. You're going to have a page where it says, download your free blankety blank and you're going to get X, Y, Z. And this is what you're going to learn and blah, blah, blah. Just enter your name and email. You're going to have a form that takes the name and email, right? So that's one. And, and then that you're gonna, form needs to come from your CRM. Yes. And so we'll that talk about that. Hold one that second. Name. Hold one second on that thought. We'll come to that. Um, and so then the contact page, sometimes you just put your phone number and your email address in there. Don't do that because then we can just click and open an email. And that's not an efficient way to get emails because you want people on your in your email database, right? So mm -hmm. put a form there also, but it's a different form and puts people on the contact form list. Free gift form list contact form list. And then the third one is the free call list. So yes, of course you want a free call, but you want a form where you ask for more information for the free call. You don't just want name and email. I suggest full contact information, phone number, mailing address, everything. If someone wants to talk to me, they need to give me a little bit more, frankly, and ask some questions on that. So you can uh, get pre-qualify them more before you actually get on a phone call with them. So those three forms minimum, and then multiple free gifts if you have it. And then yes, they all have to lead back to that database management system, whatever you're going to use that's going to send those emails and sort those people so that they're on an, an email database list because that's gold. And a comment on what you were saying about having more than just your name and email on there. Those fields, if you actually ask questions and a spam bot fills it out, it's going to be really obvious to you and you know you can ignore it. Right. But if a real person fills it out, again, it's going to be obvious to you and you're going to know that this is a valid potential client uh, so that you can, you know, go ahead and schedule and figure out what you're going to talk about with them.